G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I am going to do some more swipes. If I can get my gloves out of the box. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some more swipes. I'm not sure what kind of swipes at this point. Again, I'm just plain and I'm using new colours that I've mixed. They are the Prism Pore and Vivid Intense range from Colour Art. And the substrate I'm using is a 20 by 20 centimetre, 8 inch by 8 inch canvas. So, what am I going to do? Good question. I have been playing with swipes the last few weeks and I haven't perfected them. So, I'm going to keep doing that until I get some sort of perfection. I've got decent paints now, can't complain. So hopefully I will create something worthwhile. So let's give it a go. First things first, the pillow paint I will be using is British Paints Low Sheen White. The colours I'll be using are Prism Pore Winter Green. Quite like that colour, it's beautiful. Uh, Prism Pore Blue Velvet. Now I haven't stirred that, so I probably should. I don't want any bubbles in it, so I've got to be really slow. There you go, that's very pretty colour. Prism Pore African Violet. So it hasn't been stirred. These have been sitting for about a week. I haven't done any painting for a week. Although you saw one on Tuesday. That was actually recorded the week earlier. So that's African Violet. And finally, Vivid Intense oh, Quinacridone Red. I'll just give that a little stir. Now, all of these have Liquitex Iridescent Pouring Medium in them, about 5 mil, just to give it a little sparkle. Some of these have got their own sparkle, but I... Thought I'd give it a little bit extra. Now I'll just stir. This one doesn't need stirring, but I will stir it anyway. That's the winter green one. All right, perfect. Now let's see what we can create, hey? Now this is the last of, this is actually the last of my white British paints from the tin. So he's hoping there's not too many goobies in this. Now I don't normally like a floating pillow. I prefer to have a spun out pillow, which I might do once I've... Because I find that the floating pillows don't work too well for me. I tend to have way too much paint and it doesn't come off and then I have the problem of it cracking. All right, so using my Payne's Grey Cell Activator to begin with, all right, 
Now, what I'm going to do is add some colour. A little bit of the green. Bit of the blue. Bit of the purple. Oops, it's probably a little thick actually. And a little bit of the red. All right, let's see what I can create, hey? knows better now than what it was there before I'm certainly liking those colors together hmm I don't want to wreck it I kind of like that effect there. I don't like that bit. I'm liking those. They're gorgeous in there. It's interesting and I kind of like those ribbons going through it I might add some more of just the paint itself
Mm, I'm not liking that either. Yeah, I'm not liking the fact that it's got a lot of little, little cells. There's big cells here and there. There's a lot of little cells, and I'm not sure why I'm getting those little cells. What am I doing wrong, guys? All right, so maybe what I'll do, the spinning is not tickling my fancy. So maybe what I'll do over here is just, I don't want to get rid of that bit, but I will want to get rid of that bit if I can. Well, let's open that up a little bit more. Try put that as centre as I can. Uh, I've lost that green bit a bit. It has opened that up a little bit. I'm just not too keen on that white bit there. I don't mind the rest of it actually. Now that it's, I don't mind those ribbons. I just don't like that white patch there. Don't know whether I should do something with it or just leave it. I could put some colour in it. I don't mind that white bit. I just that bit there I don't like so much. All right, what do I like and what don't I? I love that little bit there. I love that bit there. I love the ghosties in there. I don't mind that bit. Um, that bit and that once it's sunk might be all right. I like the ribbons. I don't mind that bit. Um, I don't like the little bits there, but I might leave them. There are aspects of it that I like. I don't like that bit there now. There are aspects of it that I like. There are bits that I don't. All right, let's give another spin or two. I reckon there's a fair bit of paint on there, so it needs to spin a bit more. If I keep going, I might just add some more colour there now because now that it's too much white. What colour am I going to put? Probably the green. I like the green. Yeah, I'm not really liking this one. I don't know. I won't um, scrape it. I could always embellish it if I don't like it when it dries like I've done with most of my other ones that I don't like. However, can't seem to get what I want. I 
I'm liking the colours. I'm just not liking the swipes. Um, don't know. Don't know. There's little bits, like I said, that I like. Bits of it that I like. But they just don't seem to be combining to do what I like for the whole piece. It's rather boring and yuck, to be honest. I'm not happy with that. But like I said, I won't... Um, I won't scrape it. I'm going to leave it and embellish it like I do with most of my others that I don't like. All right, that doesn't seem to be coming off anymore. All right, I will put that up. I'll give you a look-see. Tell me what you think. All right, using a 20 by 20, 8 by uh, centimetres, 8 by 8 inch canvas again same colors this time I'm going to put a little bit more pillow on it to do the floating pillow bit and see what happens hey? what am I going to do this time this time I'm going to do this let's see if it works for me probably won't but we'll give it a go hey Now, because there's quite a bit of pillow in there, it should um, spread out a bit.
like the big cells in the middle there, even though I've had to blow them out with a straw, many of them. And I'm going to lose those ones off the edge there, which is not what I'm wanting to do. So I might just, let me see if I can clean that up a little bit. Can't seem to get the minimal look happening ever. But I do like that better. Now, <clears throat> what I will do is, because I don't want it to go off too much off this edge, I'm going to move it down that edge a bit more, like so. All right, now I can spin it some more. Just moved it a little bit because I want to try and get more of this off if I can there's a fair bit of pillow still on that and I don't want to leave it on there because I don't want it to crack so if I can move it in that corner I'll be happy all right seems to have moved a tiny bit with my table of fraction so I don't hit the camera. There. I'm loving those big cells in there. They're actually quite nice. A bit dark, but quite nice. Interesting how the white's coming through those. Maybe I hit the pillow when I blew into those. All right, let's see if there's any movement up this end. I'm loving those big cells in there. They're gorgeous. Let me just quickly do a couple more spins there just to see if it moves off a bit more on the edge there. And hope that I've got enough paint off without it cracking because I certainly don't want it to crack. I kind of like it actually. I'm actually liking it. Wow, I love those big cells. They're a little bit wonky, of course, because of all the movement, but uh, they're not bad. I don't mind them. Yeah, I'm liking that one a lot more than I do the other one, to be honest. And I'm getting the big cells, which is what I was wanting. Fortunately, it's not um, minimalistic, but never is with me. Never is. <laughs> a split cell there. It's like a cell that's split in half. Interesting, isn't it? All righty, that'll do. I think I've got them all off. I hope I've got it all off. I'll give you a quick close-up look. I mean, I'm loving this one, actually. It's gorgeous. I'm just hoping I don't drop it. What do you think? This one's actually better than the other one, I think. Sorry about the glare. Um, but I'm going to put it on there and give it a clean underneath and hope that um, it doesn't crack and that I've got enough paint off. All right, that'll do for today. Methinks, love the shimmer in that. Now, as I said, I've put the uh, Liquitex iridescent 
medium in with those colours. Now, some of those colours have got shimmer of their own, but um, all right, I think we're done. I will bring you down and show you both of them with a flyover and you can tell me what you think. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, look at those cells. <laughs> the, uh, oh, I think I might call that the embryo cell. <laughs> the split embryo cell. It looks like a, an embryo cell. Oh, love that. They are gorgeous. Love the shimmer in that too. Beautiful. Even those little cute ones there that I blew out with a straw, they're kind of cute. A little bit smaller, but they are cute. Yeah, I'm loving this. I just hope it doesn't crack because I'm hoping that I've got all the paint off. Love it, love it, love it. What do you think of that one, guys? Did I do okay on that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, this is the first one I did. Yeah, not as in love with this one as I am with the other one. I love the other one. I uh, love the other one much, much, much more. This one, I do love those cells there. The ghosties are pretty. And then I've got those gorgeous ones there, but they're only sporadic. They're not all, you know. And that even those black and white ones there are kind of cute with the purple coming through. The rest are pretty ordinary. See, I don't like that bit. Interesting bit there, those couple of cells there. Whoops. And I don't mind that. But, yeah, pretty pretty ordinary, this one. This one doesn't really do it for me. So I'll wait till it dries and see what it looks like, and then I might embellish that one, do something with that one. But I like the other one. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed my video, Please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be notified when I upload the next video. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.